Good afternoon folks, Joey Nelson here at Park Model Homes. Today we are touring our Krupp 6243. We made a couple alterations to this house. I'll go over a few details on the, what we did uh, once we go inside. Basically on the 6243 we normally have a fireplace up on the front end wall here with two windows on each side. But we wanted to really open up that living room to fit a sectional sofa in there. So we'll go ahead and take a peek here in just a second. Uh, something else that we did on this house is we did the tall clear story uh, windows and ceilings all the way to the front of the house. We added two side light windows on each side of the entertainment center. They are black windows. So you'll see I took off a little bit of the protective film here. They are black. They're not green. Uh, we just leave that on there for transport. We're going to come around back here. Uh, first thing you're going to see right here is your uh, return air for your air conditioner. So all of our houses are gonna come prepped for AC. So all the wiring, the J-Box, the breaker, everything's prepped for it. So you can have a local HVAC company come in and hook up to your central AC system. The reason why we do that is a lot of AC techs really don't wanna touch other people's equipment and service it and warranty it. So we just found it best to prep it, make sure it's all ready to go for it, and then your local service tech can uh, come out and make repairs if needed. Coming back here, we've got the 50 amp power plug plugged in right here. Your black water connection as well. Always on the driver's side, bedroom end, just like most RV parks have. We're gonna come around here. Something I wanted to show you guys, if you see a Krupp Park model that generally has this bump out right here in this corner, what that's for is actually to allow for a king size mattress to fit into the bedroom and I'll show you when we get in there how we do that. But it's kind of cool, it gives it some cool architectural look on the outside, got the window air conditioner up in the loft as well. Coming around the door side we've got the secondary eave line so you can attach a secondary structure or an awning to a side porch on site when it gets there. Got the black sliding glass door to match all the windows. Now what I really like about this floor plan is it comes with a ton of countertop space, lots of storage, but we did this big beautiful black uh, accent wall here where the entertainment center goes. And we also fit the big sectional sofa as well. Now if you didn't want a sectional, you want a couch, couple recliners, the furniture is all a cart, but all of the furniture does come standard with it. We can certainly omit the furniture if you want to put your own in there. Uh, really not that big of a credit to do that, so most people keep the furniture. If they don't like it, maybe they can gift it to someone they like uh, that um, might want the furniture. So that is an option as well. This whole front end's full of glass. I love how much windows we have here. It's great for a view if you've got a wrecked property on the water or out in the woods. Whole front side's full of glass. It does come with the 55 inch TV, Blu-ray player, got the electric fireplace, throws out some pretty good heat in here. And that feature roll goes all the way up to the top too. Some people might put a ductless mini split say up there or up in this area right here. Um, if you didn't want to do it through the duct work, you could always do the ductless mini split. Got the big uh, little breakfast bar here, seats four bar stools, lots of countertop space and storage underneath as well. What I like about the kitchen too, it's got a lot of floor space. That's about six feet from the range to this other side of the countertop. So you can easily have two people in here working at the same time. Got the stainless steel one bowl farm sink. Now you can do that in stainless steel, but this is more of the slate color. We did all the cabinet pulls and brushed nickels, so all the hardware, your faucets, your cabinet pulls, uh, your shower, um, everything's gonna match. So you could do black, champagne, stainless steel. Uh, we've got a few different color options there. Got the under cabinet lighting. USB ports. We can put USB ports practically anywhere in the house that you'd like. Uh, we only did the standard backsplash. A lot of times we like to continue that all the way up to the bottom of the cabinets, but we really wanted to feature a lot of the standard features that a house like this comes with. So uh, that's what you're going to generally see uh, standard for an Island Series Park model. 
got the 30 inch gas range and the microwave above it. Now, a lot of people want to go electric, but um, a lot of these RV parks don't have more than 50 amp service. That's why you're going to see a lot of these houses are propane, cooking, and heating. If you want to go electric, just make sure you got 100 amp service where you're going, and we can make that switch no problem for you. Standard size fridge, and we put the washer dryer space right here uh, as you get into the hallway. It is installed. Um, it's only about 1200 bucks to actually have the washer and dryer installed. What I like is they're two separate units. It's not an all-in-one unit. Um, if you just want it prepped and just have that be adjustable shelving, uh, you could save the 1200 bucks and we could just put shelving in there for you. And this is a lofted unit. I'll save that for the end, but a lot of loft space up in there. We also added a window here in the hallway. It actually, surprisingly enough, that natural light this window brings makes this hallway feel a lot more open and bright. And when you have the, you know, the loft over the uh, hallway area, sometimes it can feel a little cramped. So anytime you can get natural light to go through there, uh, big recommendation if you can do it. Got more storage out here in the hallway. It does come with adjustable shelving. Uh, we even put some access panels here to where you can get to the faucet for the uh, shower if you ever need to make repairs coming in the bathroom I like the layout of this you got the toilet on the sidewall opening window up above you've got all this countertop and storage space here medicine cabinets lots of countertop space and we've also got the big 54 inch walk-in shower uh, we've got several different colors to pick from. This seems to be the best because it's more neutral, keeps it light, especially in a small space. You want to have the lighter the colors, the better. And coming in here, this is the bedroom. Now, this is a king-size mattress. What we do is normally, when you walk in the bedroom, you've got your headboard here, and then you've got your closets on the other side right here. So when you rotate the bed, we bump this whole area out and that gives you enough room. We've got about 18 inches here, about 18 inches here, and right about 12, 12 inches over here. This is gonna give you more floor space to accommodate for a king size mattress. So all the people that ask, can it be done? This is how you do it. We've got the wood grain headboard with the accent wall to match. All the overhead cabinetry with lighting underneath it. His and her t-shirt cabinets. And a bank of drawers in the center. Lots of storage in this space right here. And then we've even got more drawers underneath as well. Now, um, we also do pocket doors. Sorry. I uh, want to make sure... Especially in a you know when you're limited on floor space, you want to have a pocket door to enter. You don't want a, a swinging door to hit the bed or come into the hallway. It just makes it a little bit more difficult to move around. And we're up in the loft here, about 120 square feet. We added some cabinetry up here, uh, TV jacks and plug-ins right there, so you can have uh, some entertainment for the kids. Put some. Uh, you know, blow-up mattress, twin mattress, sometimes even a little futon. Got your window AC up here. Lots of windows all the way around this whole side. Get a good cross breeze. A lot of people get worried that it might get hot up here. With the AC and the opening windows, you're not going to have to worry about that. Always beneficial to have that loft space. Anyways, this is the 6243 with the side entertainment center from Krupp Industries. Very popular house here. Uh, if you have any other questions, give us a call at 888-222-2699. Thank you.